Really fun project planned out today. Kind of went overboard getting some supplies. I now have five little things of nail polish. After this project, don't really know what to do with this nail polish. Maybe some nail polish craft. Is that a thing? I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Hey guys, Ray Pohar from Get Crafty Crafty, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a watercolor design on a coffee mug. We're not actually going to be using watercolors for this project. This project is inspired by the swirls that the watercolor actually makes when it gets into the water. Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include a large disposable bowl, assorted nail polish, nail polish remover, cotton balls, toothpicks, enough warm water to fill your bowl, clear coat, and a white coffee mug. I got this from Ikea. First, you want to make sure that your mug is completely clean and any stickers or residue have been removed. Next, fill your bowl with enough warm water so that your mug can be submerged. When you're choosing your nail polish, you want to avoid using any kind of heavy glittered nail polish because the glitter won't really spread too well for this project. If you plan to use multiple nail polishes, use two colors that will complement each other. Today we're using blue and turquoise. For the next part of this project, you want to act quickly. Take your nail polish and make sure it's well shaken, add a few drops of each color, and gently place it on top of your water. You'll notice some of the heavier clumps will either group together or they'll sink to the bottom. To create multiple tones for your mug, use multiple types of nail polish and place the dots right on top of each other. You'll notice that once they get onto the water, they'll start to spread out. Use your toothpick to help the spreading and you'll notice a small film start to form on your water. Take your mug and then carefully just dip it into the water catch the nail polish and you have your design right on your mug. You can repeat these steps as many times as you need to or you can just keep one simple design on your mug. After you've added the design to your mug, gently pat it down dry with a paper towel. If you aren't happy with the design on your mug, you can use some nail polish remover and some cotton balls to remove any of the unwanted designs. To finalize the design of your mug, you want to let it completely dry for at least four to five hours. After it's dried, you can use some clear coat to spray the design into the mug. If you don't want to use clear coat, just use any kind of acrylic base sealer so that when you use this mug, the design won't wash off. When you're applying the clear coat or the acrylic sealer on the design of your watercolor mug, you want to avoid getting any of it on the inside. Try to just keep it on the outside and on the design. If you want to get this mug or any of these other three mugs, make sure you guys check out the eBay link in the description below. All the proceeds to that go toward my AIDS lifecycle run in June. If you guys make this project, make sure you share it using the Get Crafty Crafty hashtag, either on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And also make sure to check out our last two projects, the Harry Potter Elder Wand and the Paper Popper. Thanks again for watching and come back next time.